change my calendar back there <laughs> happy day four of vlogmas yes today is day four and i have been super productive um and i'm feeling amazing some things that i've done out of order this morning slash afternoon but it's not going to deter me from getting anything done and I'm going to circle back around to that in a second. But again, welcome and welcome back. Y'all, I'm so glad that you decided to tune into another vlog. If this is your first time tuning in, thank you for, you know, watching little old me. <laughs> and just, you know, going through my everyday regular schmegular life. Listen, it's nothing glitz and glam and fabulous or you know, high-end luxury. It's just me and God. <laughs> it's the God in me with y'all today. But um, again, if this is your first time, thank you again for watching. And before you go any further, because I know you're going to like it because you've listened to me ramble so far, <laughs> go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button and that notification bell. That way you'll never miss any of my videos. And to all of my heartbeats, who the who? Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Hey. I love y'all so, so much. Oh my gosh. Some of the comments that I have been reading and of course responding to um, is really making my heart so full and that's why i call y'all my heartbeat squad because it's all about interacting and creating a community where your hearts are always filled and you're able to pour into other people and not feel empty and vice versa you know they always say you never want to pour from an empty cup I always want my cup to be so full that it's overflowing and the overflow is just trickling down to everybody else. Like that is what I desire daily. Some days, you know, it might not be trickling over, but God always has my cup full, um, you know, and he's always my portion. I never run low. I'm never half 50, 50 full. 50% empty. I'm always full because God is my portion. And when your portion is God, you're never empty. As long as you're tapping into that, you're never empty. And so, listen. <laughs> I know I'm corny, but that's how I feel about you guys. And y'all just keep on being connected to God. Connect with people, whether you are having digital relationships, because um, I consider y'all my digital sisters and, you know, a few brothers that may be watching me, but don't comment. But I really consider y'all my fam. And even though I can't touch you, hear your voice, 
or see anything but the little picture that comes up on the comments y'all are right here and y'all know who y'all are okay um but for all my newbies if you want to be a part of that feeling go ahead and drop me a heart in the comments box doesn't matter what color it can be your favorite color it can be purple or brown the two colors that i love and um drop it in the comments that way i can properly meet you and greet you and welcome you to the crew period <laughs> and that's on mary and joseph's little lamb of god <laughs> crack myself up so yes y'all see i'm wigless this morning well afternoon um took it off just to clean the the lace up and <laughs> you know and then also to give my edges a little break because i am a new wig wearer if y'all been following my journey y'all know why i wear wigs i love to wear weaves anyway just to switch the look up or like just to give myself a break from dealing with my hair. But ever since my autoimmune diagnosis, it's just really been challenging when it comes to my hair. I try to wear it out, but you know, it just isn't given like it used to give. And there's nothing wrong with that. But for the hair that I do have, I'm making sure that I continue to maintain it and take care of it. Because, you know... I might decide one day to cut it all off, let my gray hair grow out, and I want to make sure that I am taking care of the hair that is still growing. Um, so if I get to that point in my life, you know, I'll go ahead and do I'll go ahead and do that. Y'all don't make me jump out my seat. I know I've been cleaning and moving around stuff, but I don't know what that sound came from. Y'all like my decorations? I think they're so cute. And the lights still look good during the day too. But anyway, anyway, back to this. So I have found the perfect measurements. So I do the two shots of espresso. But what I do first, I do two tablespoons of whatever syrup that I'm going to use. So if I'm doing one syrup flavor, I do two of those. If I'm doing two syrup flavors, I'll do one of each. So it's two tablespoons of whatever syrup. Trust me, it's not super sweet. It's not at all. I think when it's hot, it takes away from that sweetness. And then I do eight ounces of oat milk. And I heat it up in the microwave first. I do have the Morocco frother in which I love way better than the one that comes with the Nespresso machine. I wish I had it in black because when I bought it, the black wasn't available. But I kind of like the black and white contrast because my wall is white. So it's actually kind of cute and the button is black. But anyway, I'm digressing. So I warm it up and I heat it up. I make it really hot because... What I've noticed is when you are um, brewing your Nespresso, it doesn't get super hot. So I like to get my milk as hot as I can so it can keep my latte as hot as it can when I'm drinking out of a regular coffee cup. Um, today I did flavor my milk. I put a tablespoon of vanilla in it because vanilla is a very light flavor. And this tastes really, really good. So I did two shots of butter pecan with, a sh um, not two shots, two tablespoons of butter pecan in the coffee or the espresso. And then one tablespoon of syrups. I do have a little more syrups than I would normally have. But y'all, this is so good. I know I said I was going to come back to <laughs> my thoughts. And I don't remember the thought, but I will bring it back to my remembrance. Um, But today is going to be a real... Probably short vlogging day. The longest part is going to probably be me running my mouth. I do have a couple of Amazon orders um, that I'm going to share with you guys. I think I'm going to make tomorrow my me day since my nail appointment has been changed from today to tomorrow at 1130. I'm going to get my nails done. I'm going to um, do my grocery pickups and then I'm going to treat myself to some pho. I really want some pho. Is it pho or pho? I think it's pho. A pho. Pho pho. Pho pho. Pho pho. Fi fa pho pho. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. I think it's pho. But 
I really, really been wanting some pho. But I just want some pho so bad. My pho spirit is crying out for pho. Pho. So that's what tomorrow's vlog will probably be. Just <clears throat> some self-care time with, you know, me. Okay. So before I get into that, uh -oh. before I get into the package that I got from Amazon, I wanted to circle back around because God was like, go back and rewatch the tape so you can see what you was talking about. <laughs> Sometimes God gonna make you work for, <laughs> for that, you know for losing it when you should have stayed in that vein but i was talking about how i haven't done everything that's on my list in the order that i wanted to but i'm not gonna keep it from let me do that and what he was reminding me me and maybe you is that a lot of times we you know prioritize certain things in our lives whether it's our tasks ourselves our family our friends our businesses whatever it is a lot of times we will prioritize it and then when we don't do it in the order of our priority level we tend to just be like oh i'll just do it tomorrow or it wasn't meant for me to do it and i don't believe that i believe that you may not were supposed to do it at that moment because it either will become bothersome or cumbersome or a burden or make you feel frustrated because you're like oh i don't feel like doing this right now so i really believe sometimes when you don't do things in the order of how you list them to be done on your task to check off it's not because you weren't supposed to do it at all it's just that at that time your mind or your spirit might not have been focused enough to do it to the way that it needed to be done and i really feel like that because a lot of times you know when i wake up even if i don't verbally say it or sit down and read i'm always thankful for god but sometimes the time that i spend when it comes to reading my scriptures is not always the first thing in the morning and I don't feel I don't I'm not gonna allow myself to feel guilty about that because he's always my portion I'm always proclaiming that he is um, you know and sometimes my time to study his word read his word hear his word may not be in the morning because for real in the morning I am so unfocused and I don't want to take for granted when I'm listening to him when I'm listening to the word and not receiving it and that's what I was saying like I really wanted to you know my plan was to get up this morning come in here do my scriptures or i listen to my scriptures and read them at the same time using the U version app and then um write in a journal that i'm going to talk to y'all about sometime um during vlogtober i was going to talk about it earlier but i think i want to wait um because i feel like it's some other little key components that i want to add to that before i share that with you all and again, timing. Like I have, like I had literally had this in the vlog. I showed the journal. Well, it's not really a journal. It's a notebook. I shared. I, you know, I filmed it and everything, but I took it out because it was not time to be shared. Um, and I did not feel bad about taking it out. You know, I'm like, you know, I could have been like, oh, that's content, but it's bigger than content. It's about writing the vision, making it plain. So at an appointed time, you know what I'm saying? And the appointed time is not always just because you wrote it down today. It needs to be done today, said today, spoke today, heard today. Um, so for all of you on here that are, you know, still following me from my planner babe days, um, and we write all the plans, and the goal is to always get everything checked off, don't be upset with yourself when you don't do it in the order that you have written it down be okay with putting that little arrow that's moving it to tomorrow or even moving it to next week you know but don't let you not doing it in the order or the day and the time that you wanted to do it discourage you 
and keep you from not doing it. Just realize that today just might not have been that day for you to do it. Now, if it's just because you were just being lazy and you were sitting around eating Cheetos and drinking lattes and, you know, fooling with your edges all day, that's something different. But when you're literally, like, pr being productive and you're doing doing the things that you have said you was going to do, don't give yourself a hard time. Just be like, you know, I didn't get it done today. But it's a reason why. It's almost like, you know, how we use that um, analogy when you're running late for work and then at that certain spot that you go to every day for coffee or that certain point on the highway where you normally take to get off on the exit it's an accident or it might have been the coffee place might have been closed during the time you would have went went there you know what i'm saying it's a reason why those things occur because you weren't supposed to be at that spot at that particular time you know you might have made it on time to your coffee spot and it would have been closed because of something unexpected and then you're mad you're angry oh i can't get my coffee oh my day is gonna be trash da, 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 da. then it's gonna then your mindset gonna be all changing and you could be like all oh, mad and angry because you're mad because you didn't get your coffee then you gotta find somewhere else to get coffee then that coffee is nasty and your day has already been set on a negative or the exit at that certain minute that you would always get there a car is is a two-car accident that could have been you so i say all this to say is i know those are extreme analogies but Sometimes you have to give an extreme and very vivid an analogy so you can see that it still applies to something that can be as basic. So if it was meant for you to go jogging this morning and you didn't get up in time to go jogging, it might have been because somebody was out there driving crazy on the road and it could have been something that happened to you. So jog later. As the sun before the sun goes down, jog later. Don't not do it, not unless something else very important has to be in that place. But don't look at as it as a failed plan or uncompleted plan. Because it's never failed, it's never uncompleted, especially if it's something that is going to benefit you and it's something that God wants you to do. He's gonna get you to do it. You know what I'm saying? And, of course, there are other factors. I mean, if you're just lazy, like, I know I'm lazy. Like, I know I need to work out. And me not going has nothing to do with God not wanting me to go work out today. That's me getting out my own way. It's knowing the difference. So, we also got to know the difference between certain things as well. But that is my TED Talk. And, again, this is why my blogs be just me running my mouth. Because, like I told you. As my good girlfriend Alicia says, let him use you. <laughs> so I be letting God use me. And if it means, and it's worth it. Because like I said, when my heart beats, leave comments and telling me how the message was received. And how what I said really helped them. I'll talk all day long if I have to. But this one item is just one of my auto replenishes that I get from Amazon. Um, but now that it is cold, I'm about to switch it. Well, I'm about to change the time that it delivers and now switch it to something else. But these are my 16 ounce to go cups. I know a lot of people don't like, you know, to, you know, plastic because it's, harmful for the environment but what isn't harmful for the environment sometimes our words that we speak the way we live is harmful for the environment yeah so yeah so these are my faves i get these i think every two months but i'm going to pause it because i'm not going to use is i'm not doing as much iced coffee and now that i got my ratios and measurements right for my hot coffees and my lattes i am going to go back to those but anyway let me go because 
this Sony battery situation is trash, bruh. Like, I was filming this morning. Full battery. Died in less than 30 minutes. I promise you. Put in this new battery. I'm down to two bars. And I ain't even talked that long. So... With that being said, let me go ahead and put on my clothes on because the timer is about to go off in six minutes. So I can so we can go out and do the things so I can get back in the house. Okay, love. So one of the worst things to wear when you're doing vlogging in the car and you're using auto intelligence is all black. <laughs> because yeah this whole thing is gonna be shadows so i'm not gonna talk long here on the in car but just wanna let y'all know i'm out the house and i'm headed out oh i just wiped lotion all over my shirt whoo y'all it's a little warm out here i need oh, okay that's better So it might have just been the area that I was sitting in. So I'm going to work my way down and then back around. Oh, that was my water. Oh, but I still gotta go to Food Lion. Do I need to go to Food Lion? We're gonna figure it out. So I need to go to Target. So I'm debating should I go to Target first because I need to get some body wash. And I was thinking about getting the melatonin gummies um, that Anastasia have been taking. They're the sleep ones. Only because I don't have trouble sleeping, but I feel like. I need something that's gonna make me shut it down earlier than what I do. Let's see what these people gonna do. Oh, that water is annoying. I'm gonna have to put it in the back seat on the floor, in the back of the floor. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna go to Target first because the way I'm gonna hit, I need to go down that way. Like, I'm a directional errand runner. Like, I need stuff to make sense. So. And then I want to see if. Well, I know Target got containers, but. Let's see. Ooh, that thing will get on my nerves. What I want to do is because um, with my Nespresso pods, I recycle them and send them back in the. Um, recyclable bags that they send out that they well you have to ask for but they're free you can get up to two per order so every time i order i always order two i rather have more than enough than not enough at all and i'm gonna see how long it takes me to fill it up because i never really tracked how long it takes um but the bag holds a lot of pods so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do like a calendar count so I can know how frequently I am filling up and returning those pods. But anyway, so I wanna get a tote so I can put on the side of my coffee um, station because right now I had the bag sitting in a cardboard box so I can keep the bag standing. Ooh roadkill excuse me okay <sighs> sorry about that I roadkill especially when it's mutilated roadkill grosses me out all the way but anyway um, I feel like today's day vlog might be longer I don't know why 
I just uploaded the first half, like everything up until me getting in the car and it's like already an hour. But I already know why it's an hour because I was cleaning my Nespresso machine and stuff like that and I wanted to show y'all how I was doing it. So, yeah. And I showed y'all how I made my coffee this morning. So anyway, all that's gonna be chopped down and speeded up. Is it speeded up or sped up? Sped up. Anyway. So yeah, so I wanna get like a narrow tote that way even if I let it get full I can kind of like start dumping them as the bag because I like them to dry up before I dump them so anyway that's what I want to get at Target and I need to get some chip clips because it's so funny how you have things and then they just disappear it's certain it's like socks chip clips utensils they just magically disappear it's like I have a leprechaun somewhere just stealing the stuff in the house yeah so I'm not going to talk anymore I'm just going to take y'all with me when I get in and out the car so we can have a little bit of v-roll and a little bit of Christmassy type music like I'm loving some of these um like one thing about me the girlies they be having some bangers but I don't have if I was a full-time content creator maybe I would take my time because like some of the songs are like songs that are on the radio but you have to find like go on SoundCloud and you know see if you and then test it out to see if not you know if it's gonna be copyright I don't have that kind of time so the copy free royalty free copyright free music that I use um, I'm using epidemic sound and I also use artless and I have epi epidemic sound link below but I also will link artless um, so if you are a content creator and what I would recommend as well even if you are not monetized yet still use copyright free music because once you do become monetized all of your stuff that you've had previously will be monetized and so if people go back and look at your content because I have people that still watch my planner content if you use music that was not um, that didn't give you the rights to use it you're not gonna get paid and what's gonna end up happening they're gonna send you a message where you can either like mute out that portion but who wants to mute out the whole video if you don't have to so I would recommend you know making that investment now YouTube it does have royalty I mean royalty <laughs> copyright free music but some of the stuff is short and then some of the stuff is like whack <laughs> I mean I'm just saying like you know you know I want y'all to be like you know bopping to it so if you are if being a full-time I'm gonna park right here if being a full-time influencer is what you oh shoot that's good me <laughs> if being a full-time influencer is something that you want to do I mean not even full-time but if being an influencer and getting monetized is something that you want to do I highly recommend that you um, use, if you want something outside of the YouTube music, use um, one of those. I got both in which, you know, because they have different, both of them have different, you know, music choices. So let me go in here and to Tolje get these couple of things that's on the list and then on to the next one on to the next one
Okay, y'all. I'm at Dunkin', and I just decided to prop my camera up. Okay. Okay, so I want to try this coffee again. Um, yes, I want to order uh, ice brown sugar. The, the spice cookie coffee? Yeah, is that like a latte? No, ma'am, it's an ice coffee. No, I want a um, latte. Alright, so did you want it with the brown sugar cookie? Yes. What size? Um, can I do a tall? Small, medium, or large? I mean a small. <laughs> Alrighty, and, and then, Does that come with the with the um cookie butter cold foam? I can I can add that on for you. Okay. Do you have the cookie sprinkles? Yes, ma'am, we do. Alright. I want it like that and some hash browns. And order a hash brown. Yes. Alright. Is that gonna be all for you today? Mm, yeah, that's it. Alright, that'll be eight ninety nine. Okay, thank you. Lord, you can tell when you are like not used to ordering from a certain place. Alright, let me add my money on here. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, yes, please. Okay. Now this looks much better than what I had before. I don't know what made me order some hash browns. Let's taste it. Mmm. Okay. Now that's now that's a coffee. I don't know what I ordered, but I'm going to have to take a picture. Yes, please. Thank you so much. Okay, that was good. That was good. I wish I had some ketchup. They smell good. <laughs> These are good too. Okay, Duncan. Okay, Duncan. Okay, Duncan. Okay, Duncan. <coughs> this is good. Now this is good. I'm going to take a picture of how I ordered it. I'm going to take a picture of how I ordered it. So if I decide to get it again, I have it in my phone. And I'll share the order with you guys as well. I don't have y'all on my mount because I took it down because I won't plan on coming back to talk to y'all. But I did. And he texted me, asking me in my home. No, I'm not. I'm out doing me. <laughs> oh my God. So, I'm gonna go get some gas. And then I'm gonna go over here to the Alphabet store. Get that syrup. I should have. Um, I don't know. I might. Because I want to try it today. But the wine that I'm going to open for. Because I want to film another wine down Wednesday. And I need to. I changed the name to Wine Down with Chakisha. Not Wine Down Wednesday. Because I might not even post it on Wednesdays anymore. I don't know. So I'm gonna get this gas.
Let me get this glass. <laughs> okay, love. So I'm back home. I got everything checked off. I got a couple of things that I need to get done for tomorrow, but that's very minimal. So, went to post office to drop off some order. Well, not orders. I act like I still have an Etsy shop. Um, to drop off my Macari item that one of my buyers bought for me. And then I went to go pick up some things that were at the post office and I was surprised that I had one thing that had arrived. Um, didn't know I was going to get it because one, it was like still in North Carolina when I checked on it yesterday and then when I tried to check this morning, UP, USPS tracking system was down. So I told y'all I needed some new headphones so I got another pair of the Apple dupes from Timu. And I'm glad I did not throw away my case because I didn't know if this one, like the little cover, because I didn't know if this one didn't have a cover. So this one is a little different, in which I don't care. These are a little more shinier. And I threw my other ones away. Oh, and this one got like a cushion right here. Oh, I like these much better. Because mine didn't have a cushion here. And it has like this. Now, I can't link this because they said that they are discontinued. But I like the shiny surface. Like, I don't know what the real ones look like. But, let's see. Oh, these fit really good. Because y'all know your girl got a small head. Oh, yeah. These fit really, really good. And like I said, I can't link these because I went back to look them up yesterday just to check the tracking. And it says that this item is discontinued. And when you go in and you type in the Apple Pro Max um, headphones, they do not come up at all. It's like you have to really scroll to try to find the dupe. And so, yeah. I unfortunately cannot provide you all with a link. Uh -oh. A link for that. The thing that I did not know I was getting today, which I'm glad because I told y'all I've been on the struggle bus with this frontal, this lace. And so I saw an advertisement on Instagram. And normally I don't fall for those that often. Um, but this is called Frontal Queen. You're supposed to be able to spray it on your lace and the lace disappear. So we're going to try it out. I'm scared because y'all know my skin be sensitive. And so if I get a link, I'll leave a link for you guys. But this is the Frontal Queen Lace Adhesive Spray. So it's a glue. But it's supposed to like melt it where you can't tell. It does say that it's paraben free, sulfate free, so that is good. So we're gonna see. So this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Hold on, this is my mom. Hey Jelly. We're gonna try this tonight. And I will let y'all know tomorrow how it works. The other thing that I got, so I'm kind of mad. Big mad, really. So I went to the Alphabet store to get the blue Caraco. So I can make the Grinch drink. And so I decided to just get like a mini bottle of the LaMarca Prosecco. And they had it in the grocery store. Because I know I ain't going to need this whole thing. But it is an orange liqueur. So maybe I'll, you know, keep it around just in case. I don't think it has an expiration date on it or anything. I was looking at it. But it says that this joint got a 
24% alcohol content. Yeah. 48 proof. I don't even know what all that mean. I don't know what all that mean. So I'm going to make sure I use the measurements very, 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 very to the point. Um, but it calls for this orange juice and Prosecco. And because I wanted to try it tonight with you guys. So Target haul, I got the figment, the fig mint magnet clip sets because I told y'all we do not have any any clips I got these I probably only take them on the nights like during the week when I'm going to work I needed some more soaps so I got some dove soap and then I got this to put my coffee pods in then the last things that I got were some more some more tchotchkes <laughs> from the dollar spot. So I got these little iridescent-ish nutcrackers. I got three of those. And then I got these iridescent Christmas trees. And they were just a dollar, so that was cool. And I'm going to put some more of these up in my office. Because the rest of the house is on Grinch watch. And it ain't no Grinch watch up in this room. Okay. So I'm going to put all this stuff away. And then I'm going to come back. And we're going to make the Grinch mimosa cocktail. Okay, everyone. So I am about to make the Grinch mimosa. And I'm going to show you everything that I have and then we're going to make this together now I found this recipe on Instagram I can't remember if somebody sent it to me or I happened to stumble upon it I'm on here all the time so who knows but um, disclaimer I have uh, stopped using champagne flutes um, because the more I get educated in this thing called wine, I'm learning in my wine journey and education that certain glassware um, that was made for wines and champagnes were made so more so for aesthetics. Once you get into the actual um, wine culture and understanding why wine is served in certain types of glasses you realize that these pretty little glasses don't really do anything for you especially if you're into the the seeing the swirling the sipping and opening up the flavors even though this is a sparkling or Prosecco you still can open up all of that stuff by serving them in a wine glass versus a champagne flute but because this is like a holiday drink and it's an aesthetic -y thing more so than anything i'm gonna go ahead and use this wine i mean this champagne flute that i got from crate and Burrow. so before i do that i do want to show you the video of how this drink is made that way we can kind of um gauge it so this is the Grinch Mimosa. And so I didn't realize that her and I had a similar glass. Her stem is longer and the base is shorter. But anyway, I'm just doing this. So if y'all are wanting to have something fun and cute for the holidays. So let's go ahead and get this together. Um, you can use any Prosecco, but I'm just using this La Marca for now. Um, I'm not a big orange juice drinker, so I got a Tropicana, no pulp. And then I got the Blue Sea, which has an orange flavor. Now, just to let you know, if your grocery store sell wines and stuff, then you can get this in the grocery store for a lot cheaper. But, hey... I'll always have it. Okay, so there's no measurements, so I'm gonna have to eyeball this. Um, 
We know yellow and blue mix green. So we're going to start off with the blue C. I'm saying blue C because I don't really know how to pronounce it. It smells really good. It smells like orange zest, orange peel. So we're just going to pour. Okay. Because hers looked like it had about that much in there. Okay, then she poured the orange juice, which is smart because that way you can make sure it's green. Because once you add the sparkling or the Prosecco, it's going to be whatever color it's going to be. So, let's see what magic it makes. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. Uh -uh. So let's open this. Now this might not be cold. I put it in the freezer. And then I forgot about it, but then I didn't forget about it. And so this is in a traditional cork. It has the plastic cork on here, so. Making sure it doesn't bubble over. It smells good. I know all the girlies drink La Marca. All right, so we're just gonna pour it up. Pour it up, pour it up. She had a strawberry to top hers off, but I don't. So I'm gonna sit this down and then we're gonna go in the office and try it together okay so let's go ahead and get into this grinch mimosa i'm pretty sure it's gonna taste like any regular mimosa um but apparently this blue sea that's what we're gonna call it the blue sea the blue cracker watch out watch out <laughs> um it just turns it green when you mix it with another color um but it has an orange flavor which is the weirdest thing, like, how can this be blue, but it tastes like orange? But anyway, <laughs> I digress. So, I'm pretty, like I said, I'm pretty sure it's going to taste just like a regular schmegular mimosa with orange juice. But, it's the holidays. Whether you are a Grinch or you are celebrating Christmas, because Christmas does have green colors. Cheers to you. It's good. It definitely has a little tart to it. I'm not sure if it's because of the orange juice or because of the blue sea, but it's not bad. Um, I would definitely, if I was doing a party, whether it will be Grinch theme or Christmas theme, um, this would be a nice little drink. And you could probably um, do you like a grenadine one so you can have green and red. So maybe... Um, Instead of using orange juice, you might could do like cranberry juice. But this was really, really fun. I think mine was a little bit greener than um, like a, it looks more like a popsicle. It might even be good making it as a slushy. There you go. Grinch on the, Grinch on the ice. <laughs> So I'm going to end today's portion of the vlog. I did want to come on here. This light is doing something weird. Hold on. So when I'm editing my vlogs, sometimes it's a, a lag. So when my effects and my transitions are lagging, I'm thinking on my end is just because of my computer. Because I got so much stuff, I'm going to have to clean off my hard drive, my external hard drive. But I noticed when i was trying to edit today's portion of the vlog my transitions with the holiday theme transitions because i'm trying to keep everything holiday-ish as much as possible um the transitions just weren't transitioning and so i was like let me go back and look at yet yeah, look at the vlog from day three that i uploaded today and the transitions are transitioning and not in the way that it should. So I apologize for any technical glitches that might seem like it's going on in the vlogs. 
again you know just trying to do something new like i said last year i didn't do vlogmas and i can't even remember if i did wine miss last year or the year before last like i said last year this time was just a blur um but whatever the case may be this is my first time ever doing vlogmas so um again charges to my head not my heart um hopefully the one that will be going up tomorrow which will be for vlogmas day four um hopefully that one the transitions will transition smoothly like they should so thank you guys for tuning in and also thank you all for the comments again i've got a couple of comments on today's upload which was for day three and because i talked about you know going to church and you know going to the building not making you a more christian than people that may not go um so it's really good to get you all's feedback i like to hear that because just because it's my opinion i don't expect for everybody to agree with it everybody has their own opinion just like everybody's relationship with god is different and like with one of the young ladies that commented like for her being in the presence of other christians is what she needs and that's nothing wrong with it and that's the beauty of knowing your relationship with god is knowing what you need in the season that you're in you know i do i do believe i can say this one part if you are a baby in christ and you're still on similac when it comes to the word and you know i highly recommend being in a place where there are other christians but I also say when you are doing that, you definitely got to pray because it's so, and I think maybe, so I mentioned that I was going to do a sit down video. So I'm going to have to write down some things because I stopped going to church for a long time because of some things that happened because there were some whoremongers that was sitting on the platform that we call preachers that were whoremongering and when you are a weak person by your flesh and when you are a newborn or even an infant in christ it's easy for those that sit on the pedestal of preacher teacher leader you know that have titles it's easy for them to prey on the ones that don't know their place in Christ yet for themselves. Like your place in Christ is already solidified. Once you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, it's solidified. But you have to figure out, once you have confessed that, how to create this relationship. It's like dating. You know, that's why God says, you know, we are his brides. He wants to date us so we can walk in that title of being his bride. It's, you can't be a bride unless you grow and learn and create a relationship he wants us to build a relationship with him so when the enemy comes in to still kill and destroy and use people within the church outside of the church in your home at your job or even yourself when he tries to use that to self-sabotage your growth um it can be traumatic and it can be detrimental and so, like I said, maybe as a part of, you know, my sit down, just talking about the different things about me from my entrepreneurship, my relationship with God, my relationship as a wife and a bonus mother, a daughter, a friend. Like, I really want to share a video with you all about that sometime within Vlogmas. So, um, because, you know, Vlogmas does draw some new people. Um, in which I pray that new people are drawn to this chat, this channel and feel a connection and feel like this is a like-minded um, channel where they can, you know, feel like they're understood, feel like they're not alone. Um, but anyway, I really feel like today's vlog has been really long because I've really been talking a lot, a lot, but a lot of it has been spirit led just like right now but again you know thank y'all for the comments and because it means a lot to me 
it lets me know that I am being obedient and God is here. God is here. So um, if you've made it this far or if you left and came back to this part, <laughs> go ahead and do me a solid and give this video a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button and that notification bell. That way you will be notified every time I upload on this here platform that we call YouTube. And if you want to be a part of the Heartbeat Squad, because you know my Heartbeat Squad is lit and we is real, <laughs> drop me a heart in the comments box. That way I can properly meet you and greet you and welcome you to the crew. So until next time, loves, peace and happy holidays. Thank you.